So guys, how are we all doing? In this video, we'll be going through one of the most requested things that you guys have asked for, and that is my top 10 most expensive cards in my collection. Let's go and take a look. Okay, so we're gonna be going through my top 10 most expensive cards in my collection. It took me a while to go through all the cards and figure out how much all these are worth. Some of them have actually surprised me of how much they actually are. And uh, it's going to be actually quite interesting. So I'm looking forward to this one. But before we get started, guys, let me know down in the comments what your most expensive card is in your collection. I really want to find out because some of you guys have got some incredible collections, in my opinion, way better than my own. So, uh, yeah, let's dive straight into it. So I have to admit, first off, coming at number 10, we actually have a card I pulled this a while ago, actually. Um, and it is a really nice card. As you can see, the uh, the back of it is very nice. Now, I have to admit, a lot of these cards are not really, really expensive. They're all modern cards, so there's no vintage in any of these either. So, you know, I came back into the hobby after a long break, so a lot of my collection is modern. I'd like to get some vintage cards, but right now it's all modern. And at number 10, we are starting off with the Leafeon V Alternate. Now, this is from Evolving Skies fantastic set these are tough to pull though now the centering isn't the greatest i mean it's a little bit heavy from left to right but i did pull this in a booster and i was super happy to get this card now i tell you what when i first pulled this this card was like 25 dollars, and now as you can see it's sharp massively so this card has definitely jumped up in value beautiful beautiful card i mean i would send it off to get graded but because the centering's not great on it I probably won't send this off to PSA. It might get sent to Ace Grade in. But uh, I, I do really rate this card anyway. I would like to get a new one, better centering. But the back of it's really nice. It's literally just the centering. So it's actually quite interesting. There was a bunch of cards which were so close to fit, like all around, really close to each other. So this was around the $50 mark. I think in my collection, there was like 12 or more cards, 12 to 15 cards that were so close in value. So this one just about edges out and beats them and coming in at number 10. Okay, number nine now. Now number nine really threw me off actually of how much uh, this car is actually worth. Now I actually bought this. I never pulled it, bought it for my collection. One of my favorite Pokemon. You'll see a trend with a lot of these. These seem to be cards either I've pulled them or I've bought them specifically for my collection. This is a fantastic card nonetheless. Really, really nice. So let's take a look. It is the Mega Sableye and Tyranitar GX. Now this is a fantastic card. I never realized exactly how much this was. I think I picked this up maybe for like 15 pounds. It was crazy how expensive it is and the quality of it's absolutely fantastic. Now I've been collecting tag team cards. I haven't opened much Sun and Moon era stuff. When I came back into the hobby, I came back in when Battle Styles dropped. I missed the whole Sun and Moon era. So I've been slowly but surely picking up the cards I like the look of and I never realized how expensive and how valuable this card is worth and i mean the centering and the condition on the back is absolutely fantastic and even on the front so this might be have to be a psa send off down the line but this is a very very nice card nonetheless really like that brantar one of my all-time favorite pokemon love the art uh, i've got the normal gx i believe this is the, maybe the full art version or whichever one is this is the, the the top version this is a fantastic one i really really rate this card Okay, right, coming in at number eight, we actually had a card I pulled very recently. Now, the value of this card has been dropping a fair amount. Okay, now this is from one of the most recent sets that's just come out, and it is the Mewtwo V Alternate. Fantastic looking card. The value, guys, value has dropped a lot. Now, it was around $70 upon release, and as you can see, it has dropped down just over $50 now, and I would expect this to settle around $50. This is a great card. This is the second one I got. This is actually the first one I pulled, but I got two of these now. Um, and the other one will probably be traded off. Uh, I might trade it off or I might sell it, but I, I don't really need two for my collection. I'm trying to get a Pokemon Go Master set, so I might try and trade that one for the remaining cards I need. But I do have two of these. It is a fantastic card. Really beautiful and uh, not bad. Like I said, the value is dropping. The centering is fantastic on this one. So this one's definitely going to be sent off to get graded. Hopefully it comes back as a 10. Will be a PSA submission. But this is a really nice card. In my opinion, I think, you know, it is my favorite card of the Pokemon Go set. 
but I think the Rainbow V Star is very close. Very close second for me. This is a beautiful card coming in. As you can see, guys, right here, we have a graded card in my collection. Now, this was a recent pickup. Now, I recently went to the London Card Show and I did pick up a PSA graded card. It is a card I absolutely love the look of. It is from one of my all-time favorite sets. And we have... It is from Hidden Fates. It is one of the best cards, in my opinion, in the set. I know there are a lot of other cards that are worth a lot more money, but I absolutely love the look of this. It's got my favorite Pokemon of all time, Articuno, coming in with the Legendary Birds. You know, guys, I love the Legendary Birds. And I did pick this up in a PSA 10, and I've only just realized <laughs> that, obviously, I've got to get this card. Look, it's number. Look at the number. Look at the number. But no, uh, it is a great card, nonetheless. And uh, this is actually a card that's quite valuable, you know, in a PSA 10. It's not bad, not bad at all. Don't know many PSA graded cards. In fact, this is the my second PSA graded card until I send all the rest off. But this is a fantastic card nonetheless from Hidden Fates. Beautiful stunning card. Like I said, guys, that rainbow. I love that look. So that is a fantastic one for my collection. All right, next up, we're back to an ungraded card again. And this is a fantastic card, a little bit off center i'll say off center a little bit top heavy there on the back but nothing too serious and it is one of my all-time favorite cards from when i returned and it is the sleepy boy sleepy tyranitar this card's actually been going up in price now as you can see it's over 70 dollars right now now when i picked this up i must have picked this up for around 45 pounds so i didn't um pull this i opened up a ton of battle stars when i came back to the hobby Bell Stars are a really tough set to get the big heavy pulls in. This is a fantastic card. As you can see, that top heavy coming through there. Sides are actually fine, and the bottom's fine. It's just the top. Overall, great card. I'm not massively fussed about getting this graded. I probably will. Probably come back as a 9, just because it's like it's off-center. But this is a great card, nonetheless. It is for my Master Set, my Bell Stars Master Set. Nearly completed, guys. Nearly completed. And uh, once completed, I will show, show it all off, but in all its glory. But this was one of the cards which I really wanted, and I'm so, so happy to get this card. One of the, the first alternate arts. Absolutely fantastic. And uh, really love this card. So happy to have this in my collection. All right, we're coming into the top five now. Now, this is another card which I went and brought. I didn't open it. I didn't pull it. It's from a set which, again, it's very tough to get the hits on. But I had to get this for my collection. And that is the Galeria Moltres V. Now, I love the look of this card. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. The centering on this is pretty decent. It's a little bit heavy on the right, ever so slightly. But I will get this graded. This will be sent off to PSA. I want to get this in a slab. I might see if I can get a different one that has slightly better centering. But uh, I do rate this. I do think this is a great card. Really expensive. Nearly pushing $100 right now. Valeria Moltres is just a fantastic card. Fantastic. Chill and Rain, tough set, tough set. I have now one of each. The legendary birds as an old art, Zapdos, and of course Articuno. But this is the most expensive one out of the three. Great card. Great card. Really hard to pull from Chillum Rain. But I can't wait to get this in the slab. Absolutely amazing. All right, we're back with another PSA slab. Now, this is the very first PSA card I ever picked up that I brought myself. I saw this and I had to pick this up. Absolutely fantastic card. Never pulled it myself, but we have pulled it in a stream, and it is the Charizard V Max from Darkness Ablaze. Absolutely fantastic! I love the look of these Charizards. I really, really do. The V Max ones, love them. And this is actually, you know, not that pricey. Raw, I think it may be around that forty dollar mark. It's not massively pricey, and we did get it in a ten. So I did pick this up. This is the very first PSA slab I've ever got. Now I brought this for. 80 pounds i think it was when it uh when it was available on ebay and it's gone up since then this is a fantastic card beautiful beautiful card we did pull on the stream i've never pulled it myself i've opened quite a few boxes myself try and pull don't forget it's just a regular v max this isn't a secret rare. this isn't an alt art so um this is a fantastic card and i wanted this in my collection and i wanted a slammed charizard in a psa 10 i just had to buy it i just had to buy it for my collection and uh, i can't wait add even more Charizard to join this one in a PSA slab but this is absolutely fantastic really happy with this one 
All right, we're coming to the top three now, and these cards are getting spicy, guys. Absolutely spicy. So this is a card I did pull. I pulled it in uh, a profit and loss video quite early on in the channel, and this is a great card. Very tough to pull from a fantastic set, and that is the shiny Charizard VMAX. Now, I absolutely love the look of this card. I think it's absolutely fantastic. Centering on this one, a little bit tricky to see with the full art shinies, but the centering is pretty decent. And as you can see on the back as well, clean. It is a clean card. This is definitely getting sent off to PSA, along with all the pretty much most of these cards. I want this to be in a 10 slab to go along with that Dance Blaze Charizard. Like I said, guys, I love the look of the design of this Charizard VMAX. I don't know why. I just do. And I love the look of the shiny Charizard as well. Shining Fates, this is tough to pull. We have never pulled this on stream. Hopefully we can one day. But this is a fantastic card nonetheless. And it's getting pricey. It's still holding, holding its value. Even though Shining Fates keeps getting reprinted, this is the big card to get in that set. All right, number two, missing out on the top spot, guys. Missing out on the top spot. Now, I did pull this in a stream. I actually pulled this in a stream of my own product. I opened up an ETB myself and I pulled it in my very first ETB of the set, very first time opening the set, and that is the Rainbow Charizard VMAX. Absolutely gorgeous. And I mean, if you look at this, and then we have the shiny Charizard back to back, side by side, look at these, absolutely fantastic. And then obviously you have the slab Charizard to go with it. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. Look at those three. That's what I mean. I love the design of these cards. And these Charizards are absolutely fantastic. And I'm really happy that I pulled this. This was my chase card of the set. Probably my all-time favorite, you know, modern Charizard. I actually prefer this than most of the Charizards. I mean, the O art from Brilliant Stars, very close. Don't own that yet, but I do want that for my collection. But look at this, absolutely gorgeous. The centering on that is spot on. Absolutely spot on. This is definitely getting sent off to PSA. Definitely. Hopefully it comes back as a 10. But this is an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous looking card. Okay, number one time now. If you have ever seen me show this card off before, then you already know what it will be. But this is a fantastic card. So hard to find. So hard to pull. It's from one of the best sets ever printed. Period, in my opinion. And it is a gorgeous looking card. Absolutely stunning. The value of this card is insane. As you can see, the centering on this pretty good pretty good you, you may be nitpicky really nitpicky and say that it's a little bit off center around like the top there like this corner bit very nitpicky and that is of course the umbreon v max art now i actually got this in a box break must have been ages ago it must have been like 10 months or so so yeah this was uh, it's fantastic i couldn't believe it absolutely couldn't believe it this is so hard to pull now, when I actually got this card, I think it was maybe like 150, 160. And this card, as you know, guys, has sharp absolutely massively. The centering on that, I don't know if you can see it, the centering on that looks pretty clean. All right, it looks absolutely clean on this one. And the back, as we've seen there, absolutely fantastic. I cannot wait to send this off. If this comes back as a 10, I am going to be so, so happy. Trust me. So yeah, those are my top three expensive cards right there. The Umbreon, the Rainbow Zard, and that VMAX. Look at that lineup. If I can get these in a PSA 10, get these slabbed, that is going to be absolutely fantastic. So that is one thing to look forward to, guys. Once I eventually send off my cards, I still need to get it sorted. But I am going to send off all of my most expensive cards. You get graded at some point, but this comes in at number one, of course. It's got to be the Umbreon from Avons, guys. Absolutely beautiful card right there anyway guys if you made this one to the video and you've enjoyed it make sure to smash that like button and make sure you subscribe for more pokemon content and like i said guys let me know down in the comments what is your most expensive card in your collection is it modern is it vintage are they graded are they ungraded let me know guys i really want to find out because it's cool i want to know what you guys have in your collections anyway guys that is it for me in this video as always thank you all so much for watching you guys are always the legends and i'll see you all in the next one